LifeX beam lights are by far my favorite RGB lighting to have in the studio here, and we got another set. They were out of stock for a while, but we're gonna get into it and show you how to set them up, so let's go. First off in the box, you'll get six bars for the beam lights and one elbow connector. That connector is magnetic, as well as all the lights, and they come with three M strips that you can utilize if you wanna hang them on the wall, we're not hanging them on the wall, but we're replacing one set of desk lights being the Govi Glides, which are still gonna be in the studio, but are gonna be moved to a different area to serve a different purpose. We're probably gonna change them around a bit. I'm honestly not a fan of how they have their motion because it's not fluid, it's kind of jumpy, and there's no way to make it fluid. So don't forget to help check out the links in the description to support the channel. Now let's really get into this unboxing. In your beam light box, you'll get six blocks and that 3M tape that I was talking about on the back if you wanna hang it up on the walls. You'll also get an elbow, which we'll go over it later, but you'll also get this quick setup tip card that basically just tells you to clean up the surfaces before you start sticking. Then you get your LifeX instruction manual, which will have your home kit code on the back of this. So make sure you keep it. Then you get your AC power adapter block, which has a bunch of different adapters depending on where you are. They got all the different connectors for you international people. Next up is the Wi-Fi hub, which will be connecting directly to your light beam lights. Also, you'll have your elbow connector so you can utilize different methods of having all your beam light layouts customized. Now here on the channel, we're only doing one method where we're just having the elbow in the corner, but we're gonna have a really long beam for the one side. And then from there, we're pretty much good to set up. So let's go. When you have all your beam blocks connected, you'll see that beam light go across all of them to register what blocks are connected. And then it will need to be reconnected if you don't have all of those beams connected. And then also if you wanna reset your device unplug it like five times as you see just have that light go across and then it'll go through this whole process where it'll be reset now with the home kit i wasn't actually able to get it to work at first and i have a lot of these lights so i've always tried to utilize this and it's never really worked you'll have to try to this process we will go through it and show you how it does work but right now it's not working so we highly recommend if you have a samsung device or some kind of android it seems to be the easiest and you get a bit more features on the app as well but regardless we went through and set it up on our buddy's samsung and it just made it really easy as it always has been. I just lost my ability to use an Android because my Android died so I needed to get a new one but I didn't have one so we just used our buddies but generally it's an easy setup tutorial. We're going to go through it again back on the iPhone because there is a way to set it up without the home kit and that's the main method that I've always done to set it up but if you don't have an Android and you only have an iOS device we're going to go through and show you how to set it up. There is a way you have to have your LifeX beam plugged in for about 15 minutes and I warn you make sure you wait 15 minutes because if you don't it will try to add your device to your home kit and it will just get you back to that same process that's not been working for anybody that I know ever. So make sure that you wait the 15 minutes. Once you have waited that 15 minutes and you're done being frustrated, it will start working where you go into your Wi-Fi settings of your phone. You will connect to your LifeX beam lights as Wi-Fi. And then from there, you will go back into your app. You will be stuck in the communicating with device screen for quite some time. After that, it will update the device and the firmware. So then it's all up to date for you. And then from there, Make sure you rename your device to something that you'll be able to say to your Google Alexa or whatever assistant because these lights do work with voice activation. That's one of the biggest benefits. So before we go into the app, let's go through the Google integration for voice activation. To start, you want to go into your Google Home app, top left corner, plus button, set up a device, and then works with Google. From there, you're going to be looking for your LifeX app and check for new devices. From there, it'll ask Google to request for LifeX approval. From there, once it's approved, it will take a couple seconds and then it'll pop up with the new lights that you have input into your Google Home system and then from there you'll activate it set up to what room that you want it in as well as what location and all that good stuff next we go down to the area of which you set it up we set it up on our stage from there we have our three different beam lights and then this fourth weird light that makes no sense we're going to take it off but all of three of our beam lights are activated and working now you'll be able to voice activate your beam lights as well as dim the brightness just by asking Google to do it for you when setting up your lights for the LifeX beam lights, you have some custom presets that you can utilize, but I prefer to use my own type of lighting. So you'll want to click on the specific one light that you want to change the lights of, then you'll want to go over to palette, and then you will want to paint instead of fill. This makes it so you can change various parts of your beam light and not the whole thing at once. So you can have a specific set of colors or whatever you really want to have. It can be itty bitty bits of different colors, or you can have a whole set of color over the whole thing and then slightly have alterations or changes where you have it set up into three or whatever you really wanted to. Also, this will vary depending on how you have your beam light set up with the elbow block. Last thing we're gonna go over is light animations, which can be found in the top right corner. You're gonna have to click the top left 
side of that top right corner and then from there you're going to go into move which i prefer and then you're going to pick all the lights that you want to enable to have this animation i pick all of them because i like having all that movement go in the same direction unless you do want to switch it to a different direction then you want to make sure to only decide on one light to pick for that but generally when it comes to movement speed when it's 60 seconds it's super slow when it's like less than a second it's too fast so you'll find balance probably at like seven seconds ten seconds something like that Beyond all that, don't be afraid to test out all the other animations. I'm not a big fan of them because they switch all your light profiles and then you gotta change your palette back. For Android users, you're able to save your palette profiles, but for some reason iOS doesn't have that updated. But if you haven't already, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel because we did put a lot of work into this video and I need to fix my Final Cut Pro editing software. I don't know what's going on with it. Beyond that, check out Terpy Thursday's sweepstakes streams, which we're doing every Terpy Thursday. Beyond that, thanks for checking out this video. Stay elevated and peace out.